In this video, we will continue to build our Flutter Hamburger apps. So uh, on the left uh, counter, you can see what we will build right now. In this circle avatar that we had last time, we will add a child argument and inside we will add another circular avatar. In this one, we'll add the argument background image and this one will be an asset image widget. For now, we will not put uh, things inside this assets image, but we will come back soon. So we will add as well another uh, a radius argument with 30. So a little bit smaller than the other one. And this is because we want a white circle over the uh, image. So you will go inside uh, and find your image. So your picture image, profile image and you will create a new folder inside Flutter, call it the image with the S. You need to be on the same level as the build and the Android. You take your image. So I have as well two image for hamburgers. You will put all your image inside the image folder. As you can see, I have two image for hamburgers and those are PNG image. That means there's no background on the image. Perfect. Now we need to tell Flutter, okay, I want you to know that we, we have image inside our code right now. And those image are not, uh, uh, you don't need to have Wi-Fi to have this image because it is inside the code. Then you will go inside the pop spec and remove, uh, like I did, exactly the same space. So you need to have asset on the same level and you need to have image on the same level. Then you will replace image slash dog.png because this is the name of my image. I have dog.png. So you call the folder image and you call the name of your picture. Then we will add the two other picture, chick chicken burger and bacon burger. So I will write bacon burger and chicken burger. So remember on the postpec.yam folder, the one that would change the image asset, you need to be on the same line as I did. So each space are very important inside this file. Okay, now I will change the extension to PNG because the burger image are the PNG image. And you need to have your extension. If you have different extension, you need to put it. Then as you can see, we have a little uh, error and I just correct it to have the same name of my image. Inside asset image, we can put uh, inside a column, not column, but right here. We can add inside the image asset, uh, like a string. We will add, write image, so the name of the folder, slash the name of our picture. So dog.jpg, jpg. Here we go. Now we should have the image. We have our uh, picture image right now. What we need next is to have the uh, name of the user and then a little description under the name of the user. We will add a sized box inside the row. And this sized box will be to uh, separate the image to the username. This sized box will have a width of five. Then right after we will add a column to put the profile name and the description over one over the other. We will add a column with the children argument. And in this list of children, we can add uh, both of them. So first one will be only a text widget. And in this text widget, we will add our username. So the name of the user, will be uh, on this app for me, wanted Jack, but you can add your name for sure. Next step will be to um, add under this text a column. And why we adding a column? It's because we will wrap the second text or the description with, um, we will wrap it with a black container after. So it will not be two text one after the other. The first one will be text and the other one will have some style. So on the, the text uh, of the user, you will add as well a style argument 
And after this style argument, you will add a text style widget right here. Perfect. Then inside this one, we will need to change some argument. So the first one will be the color. We will add the color colors dot and we will select the white. That's good. Next step will be we will just format document. I will put some. OK, so this is white. This is perfect. And after we can put a comma and add the font weight. As you can see, Flutter uh, removed some parentheses, so I have error, but I will put it back right, right there. Perfect. So font weight dot bold. That's mean I want this text in a, a big character. Then we can add the font size to have the text a little bit bigger. So if we put 18, it will be bigger. And that's pretty much it. Inside the container, we will add a padding because we want a padding between the container and the text that we will add. In this padding, we will add the edge insect dot all, and we will put four as the value. So it will be a little padding. After, we will add the child argument, and in this child argument, we will add the text widget that have some description inside. Uh, I will write, by example, gold member, but you can write any description that you want, for sure. So as you can see, we have done this part and we have what we see on the left screen. Next, we will add a decoration inside the container and this decoration will take the box decoration widget. In this widget, we will add a border radius and this border radius argument will take a border radius dot circular widget. And this value will be 20 inside. That's good. Okay, so we have what we see. And next step will be to have the container black and add some value on the right side of this profile uh, header. We will add a color argument and a colors dot black uh, 54 inside the decoration. So as you can see right here, we have uh, this little box and this is why we had the padding. After we will need to change the text for uh, to have like a white text. So the gold member will need to be white. So we had style and then the text style inside. We use the argument color and we say colors dot white. And Flutter removed some power, uh, some uh, brackets, so I will put them back. As you can see, here we go. And now we're good to go. And this is what we have. Good. Next step will be to add the uh, amount that you have inside your account, by example, inside your hamburger app. So to do that, we will uh, find the column. And right after the column, we will add the text widget. So we use this one. And in this text widget, so if you remember, we are inside a row right now, we will add this text widget as $154 Canadian. And we have a little error. This is because Flutter want to know, do we want to put text for this dollar sign? And to tell Flutter that this dollar sign is text, we use a backslash before. That's good. So we put the comma and we should have uh, the value right here. But we don't see it right now. Maybe it is a bug, but we will solve this bug uh, later if it is one. After this text um, will be, we have a style argument and this style argument will have a text style widget. And in this one, we will add color argument and colors dot white. Here we go. We separate with a comma and we say font weight argument and font weight dot bold to make the text big. And then we add the 
um, font size, but Flutter don't suggest it. So we will need to write it font size. And we take this one argument. We will need to put back the, the uh, bracket. So here we go. And we have our font size as well. We will need to separate the text of the dollar Canadian with a spacer to be sure that the text will be on the left, on the right side. Okay, so we don't see uh, the, the spacer, so I will refresh my app. And uh, as we can see, we have a bug. So this is the correction. We will go on the top and as you can see, we have a dart.html once again. Flutter, I don't know why they add that sometime. It's, uh, it is just a lag. Maybe it's my Macintosh that is a little bit slow, but we have solved this issue. So right now, if we go inside the app, we should see the text and this is way better. That's good. So right now we will add a last thing and this is on the column, the main column, we will wrap it with another column and we will change the name of this one with a stack. So it will be a stack widget that have a column inside. And at the end of this one, at this column, we will add something on the next video. So that's it for this one and see you on the next one. Bye.